There's a new safety technology on the block that experts say could be as significant as the seatbelt for saving lives. And the good news is it's being fitted to more and more new cars. In fact, it's already fitted on some cars you see on the roads today. It's known as Autonomous Emergency Braking, or AEB, and it works using a combination of clever tech like laser, radar and camera sensors to detect an imminent collision with an obstacle ahead. The new system is able to automatically apply a car's brakes if the driver fails to respond to the danger in its path. In the best case scenario, many systems are able to bring the car to a complete halt, rather like an emergency stop, avoiding the collision altogether. In others, it can at least reduce the severity of the impact. The system includes an automatic cutoff if you intervene at all, and that can just be the tiniest movement of the steering wheel, but that restores full control to the driver so you can steer around the situation, which may, after all, be safer than hoping the car will stop in time. There are currently three types of AEB. Some work only at lower speeds, typically under 25 miles per hour, and when you consider that three quarters of collisions happen under 20 miles per hour, it really makes sense with city driving and stop-start traffic to have that extra safety measure watching over you. Other systems operate at higher speeds, typically between 18 and 50 miles per hour, while some cars offer pedestrian AEB. This uses a camera to distinguish between people and cyclists about to cross into the path of the car and inanimate objects such as roadside bollards which don't pose any threat. The reason this technology matters so much is because it has the potential to save thousands of lives as well as thousands of pounds in costs every time someone has an accident. Given that AEB could wipe out two billion pounds worth of whiplash claims every year, car insurers are already awarding reduced premiums to cars fitted with AEB, saving you money. Car safety body Euro NCAP has been so impressed by AEB that it's now factored the technology into its new car assessments. Low speed city AEB systems, as it calls them, are already involved in a car's score for adult protection. As a new standard of Euro NCAP safety, many manufacturers are keen to get AEB into their cars in some capacity, even as a cost option. However, the Volkswagen Golf behind us is fitted with AEB as standard. Volkswagen calls it City Emergency Braking and it's fitted on every Golf in the range bar the entry-level S-Trim. This means most Golfs have seen their insurance group drop by two levels on account of their improved safety and you can see the same system fitted as a £500 option on the recently updated Polo. Then there's this hybrid Mitsubishi Outlander, which has low-speed AEB included in its city crash provision system. It works up to speeds of 22 miles per hour and comes as standard on this top-of-the-range trim. Volvo is well known for its high safety standards and it's now fitting AEB as standard on all cars it produces. Its system works at all speeds, though Volvo says it's more likely to completely prevent a crash at speeds under 31 miles per hour. Volvo also offers cyclist and pedestrian AEB as part of a comprehensive safety pack, costing £2,000. It would seem crazy to buy a car without seatbelts nowadays, and soon enough we'll be thinking the same way about AEB. For more information about AEB, head to whatcar.com.